This video will show you how to get started with StoryPigs. To log in, you will need to use your Sparkle login details. Tap on Login. Tap on the blue button to start a new story. Then, choose between taking a photograph or use one you already have in your image library. If you choose to use an image from your library, your camera roll will appear for you to select from. Now your picture has loaded, you can start to capture scenes using the blue plus button in the bottom left of the screen. Use your index finger and thumb to zoom in, rotate and move around the canvas. Also, a single finger will allow you to pan. If you don't like your scene, just tap and hold on the scene and a trash can will appear and you can drag your scene across to delete it. In this story, I would like the second scene to focus on the hands of the Mona Lisa. So I will tap on that scene and then use the same techniques as before to zoom in and center on the hands. So now I have my scenes in place, I'm going to record a voiceover to help make my story. To do this, tap on the scene you want to use, then tap on the microphone button. When you're ready to record yourself, tap on the red dot. You can then tap stop or just tap the forward arrow in the bottom left to carry on recording for the next scene. For example, the Mona Lisa is the world's most famous painting. Did you know a finger on the left hand was never completed? The Mona Lisa was painted by Da Vinci. Once you tap on the stop button, the voiceover automatically saves to the scene. If you want to remove it or change it, just tap on the bin icon for that scene. You can see which scenes have audio on them with a microphone icon on the scene thumbnail in the timeline. You can also add closed captions to each scene. Select the scene and tap the CC button. Tap in the notes area that appears over your image and a keyboard will be available. I'm going to add words to match my voiceover. Once you have finished, just hide the keyboard and move to another scene to do the same. You can see which scenes have closed captions on them with the CC icon on the scene thumbnail in the timeline. Now, let's preview our work. You can do this using the play icon in the top right. A preview will load and you can hit play to watch that through. Your audio will play and you will see your closed captions in this mode. Tap the X to go back to your project. We also have presentation mode available through the presentation icon on the top right. In this mode, you can manually move between scenes using the forward and back arrows on the screen. No audio will play in this mode as it's designed for a manual presentation where you would be speaking. However, you can choose if the closed captions display with the CC button in the bottom left. Again, tap the X to get back to your story. You also have a number of settings available for your story through the cog icon in the top right. You can rename your story here. Change the background colour and control the time between scenes by slowing down or speeding up the scene transition speed. Once you're happy with your work, you can share it as a video. Tap the share button on the top right toolbar. By default, it will share publicly, but you can change this to unlisted or private before you tap start video rendering to publish. Once uploaded, you will have a short URL for your video which you can copy, and also an embed code if you need it. Tapping View My Video will take you directly to the video page as well. Just remember that your video will take a short time to be published, so it will not be available instantly. You will get an email confirmation as soon as it's ready to view. To sync your work to your account so you can access it later, tap the Cloud button in the top left toolbar. Your project is now saved and you can tap back to see that on the first screen we saw earlier. You can now start another story or tap on the Save Story to open it again. And that's how you make a story in StoryPix.